<laughs> Everything will be done now. I think Emily will be delighted with the rare huge crabs. Oh, nothing better than candies. The harder it is, the tastier. Why come up with something if there are already goodies here? And I'll add some magic potion from myself. Let's try! <gasps> what? Is this beard? Ah! Where did it come from? It's all thanks to me. In my opinion, it turned out funny. Well, if you don't like to treat me, there is the time for challenge! I think we're going to have to cook now. Let's see which of you cooks tastier. Let's start with the chocolate fountain! Oh, it's easy. There'll be fun in for you. Easy. I think I'll make a fountain out of white chocolate. I don't think everyone else will think of that. With white chocolate, the fountain will be both beautiful and tasty. Perfect. The chocolate has melted, that means that we can turn on the fountain. Cool. Hmm. But to make it more interesting, we're gonna add some Skittles. It's gonna make it colorful. Oh yeah, look at this. Just perfect. Let Emily decide for herself what kind of yummy she wants to dip in the chocolate. Look at the variety of goodies here. Perfect. I think that my fountain will be the best. And I'll fill the fountain with something more original. To begin with, I will cook this something original in a cauldron. I will need spiders, octopuses, flies, various potions and powders. Ouch! It hurts! No offense, I just really need a human hair. The only thing left is to stir this liquid thoroughly. Ready. You can pour my brew into the fountain. It smells very nice. But to make it even tastier, hmm, I'll add marmalade eyes, which can then be dipped into the fountain. Well, I think Emily will be thrilled because it looks perfect. Hmm, what should I do? I think there is nothing more adventurous than making a fountain out of chocolate! Which everyone loves anyway! To do this, you need to get rid of candy wrappers and put the chocolate into the fountain! Turn it on! Hmm, strange. Why is it not working? I think you just need to warm up the chocolate yourself. Chocolate will melt from any heat, so two hair dryers will suit me perfectly. Ready! Hmm, but there is not enough chocolate. So I will also add Maltesers candies. Oh no, what's going on? Everything is going to explode! Oh, well, what should I do now? Now everybody is in chocolate. Emily, it's time to choose a winner. Even by the size of the fountain, it is clear who will become the one. Tina! Whoa! I'm sorry, but burnt craft will definitely not suit me! Ew! And the taste is terrible! The fountain from Phoebe the cook is a completely different matter! There are so many different goodies here! I think they will be even better after I dip them in chocolate! Hmm! Let's try! Hmm! Amazing! Phoebe, you surprised me! It's unrealistically delicious! Well, the only one left is the fountain from Wednesday. It doesn't look very nice, but I hope at least it will taste nice. Ew. Whoa! I haven't tried anything tastier in my life, Wednesday. You're the winner. The charming potion works. In the second round, you will have to get me to school. I want to get a whole lunch. Hmm, this is already more interesting. 
Where do we start with the school lunch? That's right, with a toast. I will cook them according to the classics in real toaster. Hmm, now these toasts must be caught. But this time? I didn't succeed, apparently. Oops. You'll regret it. Oh, come on, Wednesday, don't grumble. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, the toast is ready. Now you can make a full sandwich. But it will be much more interesting if there is a cheese Pikachu on the sandwich. Let's cut it out. Oh, perfect. And anyway, why don't I arrange a Pokemon-style lunch at school? Both beautiful and delicious. And I also have the right soda. Lunch in Pokeball is, in my opinion, very interesting. I hope Emily likes it. Wednesday, why do you need a machete? Because only with its help, I can instantly divide the bouquet in two parts. And it is inside it that I will put different goodies. And maybe not exactly goodies. Let's start with larva. I hope Emily will appreciate my choice. Then chicken legs. Hmm. Perfect. Fly agarics next, and cockroaches will be used. In general, it's not all. We're gonna add some brain juice for a little taste. I think that's enough. Let's cover it with the second half of the baguette, and my sandwich is ready. The only thing left is to find a suitable box for it. I think this case, in a form of a small coffin, will fit perfectly. And I think I'll do something simpler. Although, I don't want to make sandwiches from such bread at all. I'd rather make a sweet sandwich. I use large waffles as buns. And inside, I will put Nutella, whipped cream, marmalade, bears, and we need something else. Well, the more the better. Ooh, that's right. I think Hooba Booba gum is perfect here. And a little chocolate bars. Wouldn't hurt either. Just like pokey sticks. Let's decorate it with Skittles and Oreos. Now we need to connect it all. Wow! Just look at this tower! This is a masterpiece! Oh, my work of art! I didn't even expect it from myself! Guys, do you see that? Whoa, that's right. I forgot! We need a container! I have just one in my backpack. Just need to get rid of this… thing. However, my sandwich is a little bigger than this box. But it's okay. There is a way to make it smaller. Hey, just like that. Good. We're ready, Emily. Just taste it. Whoa, everything looks very pretty. I'll probably open the Pokeball first. Well, well, everything looks very good. I love Pokemon. Mmm, delicious. It's time to wash down the sandwich with the appropriate soda. Oh, now? Well, let's see what Wednesday prepared for me. <gasps> ah! Are these cockroaches? Ah, terrible! They're alive! <gasps> Ew. Well, the only thing left is a sandwich from Tina. Well, let's open it. Whoa! Such a huge sandwich! I don't even know how to try it! Mmm, apparently there is one option to devour it. Do it slowly and in layers. Mmm, yay! Well, I admit that this is the most delicious and big sandwich. Tina, congratulations on your victory! Hooray, I won! No wonder I decided to make a sweet sandwich. This time, I want something more serious. For example, spaghetti. We'll be done. The most delicious spaghetti are the ones that are made with your own hands. 
To do this, I need to knead the dough. Flour, eggs, and a little salt. Of course, we'll add some pepper too. Why make spaghetti if you can take ready-made ones? First, you need to get them out of the box. My sharp nail will help me with this. Now, you need to dip the spaghetti in boiling water and stir it well. Ready-made spaghetti? Then why not use noodles from Korean buckets? It's much tastier! It also needs to be thrown into boiling water and do not forget to put some seasoning in there. Mmm, they're perfect for these noodles. It will be much tastier this way. Well, the dough is ready. Now, you need to divide it into parts and paint each piece in its own color. To do this, I will use natural dyes. Tomato. Broccoli. And fresh sweet pepper. Now I need a special machine from which real pasta comes out. Look at this colorful pasta. I hope Emily loves them as much as spaghetti. Oh, perfect. Ready. Now these bright and colorful pasta also needs to be cooked. Well, my spaghetti is ready. I have already found a suitable plate in the form of a skull. I think it will be very nice. Especially after I add some Tabasco to it. Oh, it's going to be delicious. I love it. Mm, my favorite sauce. Ready to eat it with full spoons. Whoa! I would have burned up after the first drop. Ouch. Well, I have my own noodles ready. Only I think I overexposed it. Oh no. Now it's a huge lump. But it also needs to be dumped on a plate, right? Oops. It turned out a little harsh. But I hope this stickiness did not affect the taste in any way. <laughs> okay. I will use cheese as a plate for my pasta. Because it will be much tastier this way. Now we can put the pasta in. And to decorate it, I can use a portion of different vegetables. My spaghetti is ready too. It's time to choose the victory! I think I'll start with your noodles, Tina. What? Only now it's not soft at all. I can't even put it in a fork. No, I won't no. eat such filth. Now I'm going to try the creepy noodles from Wednesday. I hope at least this one tastes good. Ah! Oh no, so spicy! It is impossible to eat it! Huh? I hope Phoebe did something good. Mmm, this pasta is perfect. Phoebe, you're the winner. Thanks, I tried very hard. Finally, I was recognized. Which of today's challenges do you want to try? Write in the comments. Stay with us because it'll be even more fun next time. See you later.